Shanksy here from Gone Touring. And in this episode, we're going to show you how to disconnect the battery on a Harley Davidson without setting the alarm off. The first thing we've got to do is take off the seat. So the first thing we're going to do is put a rag on the fender. So just in case we slip, we're not going to scratch our fender. So the screwdriver, undo the screw. Now with the screw out, you gently lift it up and just slide the strap off and it comes out of those two slots. Okay, so we'll just move the rag up, cover the fender again. Just with a pair of moldy grips, gently loosen the uh, two thumb screws off. And just undo these two thumb screws. Pick up the rear of the seat gently and slide it backwards and it'll come out of, the tongue will come out from the front. Take that strap off. So with the key fold present, turn it to the ignition position. Pull the main fuse out. And disconnect the main 40 amp fuse. It's very important that you disconnect the negative or the minus terminal first. This will prevent a spark or a short if your spanner hits the frame of the bike. Now, lift the ne negative wires up out of the way. Then next, disconnect the positive terminal. So you grab all of the battery and pull it out. Make sure all the wires are clear. There's a considerable bit of weight in these batteries. So you uh, want to get a firm grip of it and uh, when you pull it out, make sure it's not tangled up in any wires. Okay, put the battery back in. It's much the same procedure in reverse. So clear the wires, slide in there in the hole. Be careful not to drop it. But incidentally, these two wires are for the quick charger. So if you haven't installed one already, while you're changing the battery, it might be a good idea to uh, install a quick connect battery charger terminal. Put the earth back on. And that's the simple technique for disconnecting a battery on a Harley Davidson motorcycle without setting off the alarm. And finally, once you've reconnected your battery, you'll have to reset your clock as well, which we've demonstrated in an earlier episode.